friends, I'm the vegan. I make a juice fasting day. Today, like once a week, in the average, to be precise, it's more um, rhythmatic, rhythmatized by, by the moon. Yeah, the moon has a certain influence on, the, on, the, on, on us, on the, on the elements. On planet Earth, we see the, the tides, and the moon comes and goes, the water comes and goes, and it's all about the water. Fasting is also about the water because the balancing, the, the water element, makes it easier to use it to cleanse our body inside or inside. And um, that's a very easy understanding of a whole complex thing. And <laughs> yeah, but I don't talk about that much. What's so important is more yoga science, yoga knowledge. Yeah? They have a, another way of talking about science than the modern sciences are. It's more holistic. And the question if science has to be holistic to be science at all in our times becomes more and more interesting, but it's not yet there. We don't have a holistic science at all. I mean, in general, our science is not holistic. It's abstract science, and we use that in some good ways also. Yeah, vegan science shows that the healthiest food is vegan. The healthier diet is vegan, of course. We have to admit that. There is no way to deny it so far. So these kind of sciences, climate science, is showing us that we have to act now to reduce carbon footprint and more and more science getting more important and undeniable. Now the new science about health, yeah, coronavirus and these things are completely undeniable. The whole world is acting on it. Some exceptions anywhere, somewhere here and there, but these people are considered have to be considered crazy now, who's not acting proactive on uh, reducing the risk of many people's uh, they are goods had to be considered not not sane because uh, people are dying and we have to stop it and they always see already see some countries having success so this is just to talk about science and its value today and it's getting even as an abstract science it gets more and more important undeniable politicians have to act on science today they cannot deny it anymore that's where we've got now uh, in this um, corona crisis yeah. climate science has been try to deny most of the countries have already uh, tried to act on it have promised to act on it but still they are slow to act uh, climate activists like Greta uh, making a good point but politicians choose to listen or not more or less but this new crisis or the health crisis is really the missing link I would say now nobody can deny, can really um, in the same mind deny it science becomes irresistible today so um, this is about the science and um, so uh, talking about um, um, uh, the water element cleansing and the moon and so is not considered scientific in our times it's more yoga knowledge yeah but it, there is something to it and uh, we have more anecdotal science about it not really science but uh, you can try it for yourself I, I think um, the main point is that food uh, can uh, be uh, detoxifying. You know? We can detoxify our detox our bodies with food and with diet. This also has been proven already by science. Uh, some years ago, science said no, it cannot be, it's a hoax. Um, but by now, we have some scientific evidence, at least, that there is food that can detox the body. Solid science. Mm. Greens. Uh, broccoli, for example, uh, is an outstanding example. There's good science about it, how um, food can detox the body. Um, so, but, but also, also here with the juices, if I do my regular ju juice cleansing uh, every week, it is something that helps me to detox and I can feel it. Uh, though I don't know how far the science went uh, so far uh, proving that, but um, I'm a big fan of doing my juice fasting. It's very, very uh, impressive how it works. And it's very gentle. That means I can do it without to suffer. And that's very important. There, uh, the Trioga science, Trioga knowledge, uh, Trioga is an art and a science comes into play because we know in Trioga um, the flow means that you feel great. It's a non-violent lifestyle based on a non-violent lifestyle. The flow, living in the flow, is um, going with the flow. That means going non-violently, doing everything, thinking, uh, acting, uh, speaking without violence in a positive way. Very important. And this cleansing too, this fasting, this gentle juice fasting is called a gentle because it is non-violent. So if I feel a strain or pressure and something that is unpleasant, I stop, I reduce. 
I'm doing it once a week with the healthy and delicious juices is a delight and it's by no way it should be a stress on the mind or on the body. So if you feel a little bit more attention, yeah, you, 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 you reduce it, you reduce it, you, you reduce it. You just eat a little bit or have a smoothie or so something more caloric. So uh, the fasting and the cleansing is slowed down. Sometimes it's important to slow down a little bit, otherwise it gets too much and then the whole effect doesn't work anymore. The cleansing has to be in balance, yeah? have to be in balance all the time, um, inside and outside. That's yoga, yoga is balance. So, and health also. Yeah, so now uh, I make a very simple juice today. Um, I just wanted to make it for some time. I didn't do that. Um, it's very simple, just pear juice, basically pear juice. Here I have some pears here, they are ripe, have to be used. And today is the time, the day I will use it. Um, cut them into blender-sized pieces, or ju juicer-sized pieces, together with a little bit of lemon, half a lemon only, not too much, just to keep the, the pear juice from getting brown, and some ginger to add some fire. Ginger is very nice um, with uh, sweet uh, flavors. Uh, pear is very sweet, and the ginger is perfect with that. Sweet and fire is perfect together. Yeah. So I will juice it now, come back in a moment, and tell you how, what it tastes like. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the pear itself in a moment. Yeah, my juice is ready. I just got a little bit today. It's not much. It's a very precious pear juice, you see. Maybe. Um, a third of a liter or so, a big glass, not too much. But um, anyway, I mean, it's just a little bit of pear juice and it's delicious and it's very healthy. Pears, for example, they have the same amount of nutrients and calories of an apple. So uh, pears and apples are pretty much the same um, scientifically, you know, but there's one difference be because the pears have something the apple cannot do. The pear helps to flush out the water from the kidneys so by cleansing the liquid parts of the body whereas the apple are more from the firm parts. There's always also a saying yeah, in ancient traditions and the people's mouth, yeah, they say similar things about pears and apples. That is scientifically proven. Pears are flushing out, apples are more from the firm parts of the body. Both are great for digestion. They're just a small difference, but not so much as calories and nutrients, pretty much the same. Let's see now what it tastes like. Ah, oh, well, the pear flavor, is very, very, uh, it's amazing, it has a, it's a very special flavor. It's, it reminds me a little bit of alcohol, but it's not that, that sharp. I don't like the flavor of alcohol because it's sharp. It really bites into my mind, I have a feeling, in the, in the brain. I was I used to drink a lot of alcohol earlier times. I don't, I'm not against alcohol, it's okay a little bit, but I just don't do it because I don't like this sharp flavor, this sharp, um, um, effect of alcohol. But it, the pear is pretty close to that without the sharpness. And same with uh, cacao, for example, can also have a, a, an alcohol-like flavor, especially if you combine it with other fruit, uh, other ingredients. Uh, there's an alcohol flavor I like, but it's not sharp, it's not biting, as I experience. But that's up to you. I mean, everybody has the different uh, subjective feelings and uh, with pear, I'm really a big fan of pears. I wanted to make this juice for a while. Now here it is, and it is amazing. See, it's thick, it's creamy because the pear has been soft. If you have a, f a firmer, less ripe pear, it's more juicy. But here, this is what I'm a little dessert today. Just a pear juice. It's almost all I have, <laughs> not much, but I will greatly enjoy it for sure. And if you have more pears, make more pear juice. It's amazing. It's high in sugar, of course, but this is a kind of sugar on a fasting day. It gives you energy. On a not fasting day, when you eat food, regular meals, you should also incorporate the whole fruit. The juices are something for fasting or a quick meal, in the quick juice in between, a quick snack or so, refreshing, a push of energy. But the main calories should always be from whole food and plants so that the digestive tract has to kind of work. The bacteria in the intestines have a good food too. And the fiber, yeah, this is not in the juice, the fiber from whole food is the best food for the bacteria. And we have to <laughs> um, care for our little friends here too. They do an amazing job for our for intest science, for our immune system. And 70% of the immune system is in the intest science, so we need to feed these guys good. And if, we're, if they are happy with the good food, they're doing a great job. Otherwise, they turn against us. That's not so good. The bad food turns against us, not so good. But 
Juices are for when the digestion rests. The intestines can rest. They don't have to work. They don't have to digest. And energy from the juice goes directly in the bloodstream, and that's good for a certain time. You know, if you do longer fasting or more radical forms of fasting without juices, you might better see a doctor. Um, that is recommended because there are always issues reported, so you can't be sure if you are really good with it. Uh, usually not so big a problem, they say, with fasting for a certain time. But to make sure, I just read a study about it, they say to be sure, consult a doctor when you're fasting. But the gentle juice fasting just for a day with, with fresh juices, even homemade, uh, you don't need to see a doctor for a day or so. There's no problem. That's why I like it and everybody can do it. It's so effective. So. Uh, yeah, it's, it's gentle, it's gentle, and it's in the flow, and it's non-violent, and it's the best thing you can do. <laughs> after going vegan, after doing your tr daily tree yoga practice, of course. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy. If so, like my video, and subscribe and vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day, once a week. You'll find a juice recipe on tree yoga moon fasting on Facebook. There's a small fasting page with not too many people. But I post a new juice recipe um, every week there. The moon calendar is there for the best fasting days if you wanted that. But otherwise, uh, once a week, a regular rhythm of fasting, gentle juice fasting, of course, uh, is recommended because it builds over time. Yeah, I've been there for many years now. The best way of fasting I know so far. It's so pleasant, so 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 wonderful. The body can easily adapt, and that rhythm of making a break once a week. It's really cool. I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah, it uh, gets me a lot of pleasure and self-inquiry. Yeah, I see things I didn't see before. I forgot. Yeah, and so many things. So you can go there also, and the, all of my other recipes I always post on, uh, post on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Find me there. Find me everywhere. MD Vegan. See you soon.